Oil is everywhere in Katula, hiding underground and passing through town all day long. This West Texas city of just 4,200 residents sits right on top of the second largest oil production field in the U.S. With the oil boom in 2010, it went from having four hotels to building 20 new ones, earning the city its nickname of Hotel Capital of the region. We had probably the highest uh, priced uh, Holiday Inn Express in the U.S. You know, you were uh, charging uh, somewhere around two, three hundred dollars a room and it was a hundred percent occupied and, and you couldn't get a, a room if you wanted to. The, Eagle Show the reason behind the city's popularity is its key location between the Permian Basin and the major export harbor of Corpus Christi. It's also right on Interstate 35, a major logistical highway leading to Mexico. Just outside city limits, a new pipeline is under construction, the latest sign of an increase in U.S. oil production. It shows economic activity for the city. Uh, they have to have people on the ground to be able to monitor uh, the pipelines to make sure that they're checked and all of that. And so it creates employment within our communities, which is a, a blessing for us. This blessing has also proved to be a curse. In October 2014, with oil production exceeding demand, the bubble burst, causing prices to tumble to levels unseen in a decade. The oil industry came to a screeching halt, and the effects were immediately felt in Catula, with layoffs and empty hotels. This establishment even went bankrupt and had to close down. Four years on, activity has picked up again, but some residents remain nervous. We have all this, the infrastructure set up to be running at this big pace, but then we turn around and we slow down and then all of these hotels and the people that are employed and stuff like that, what's that going to bring into the town then to be able to, you know, support it? With oil prices currently around $60 a barrel, Katula is on the mend. Last year, hotel taxes brought $1 million in revenue to the city, almost as much as during its heyday. There are plans to develop the airport and cattle industry to diversify the economy, so the next oil bust doesn't crush the city again.